Mexico and Sweden. Now you've met Miss Teen USA, Sharice Haugen. This is Miss USA, Mae Shanley, and Miss Universe, Yvonne Reading. Hi, ladies. You know, ever since we started working on the pageant, I keep hearing the term triple crown winner, which I don't understand and I can hardly say. Can you tell me what this means? Well, actually, that all starts right here with this pageant. If tonight's winner meets the age requirement, she will automatically be a contestant in the Miss USA pageant, and that will be held in Lakeland, Florida in May. <laughs> and if she wins the Miss USA pageant, she'll go on to the Miss Universe pageant, which will take place right here on this stage in Miami in July. And then, so, so then she goes on again, is that right? And if she wins that, then she wins the Triple Crown. I get it. <laughs> All right. Well, now, when we, come, when we come back, we're going to find out who the five finalists are. And that's going to be after this word from Pringles. Thank you. Now, may I have the computer printout, please? <laughs> I'm about to announce the name of the five finalists for the title of Miss Teen USA 1985. Again, the names will be read in no particular order. And as each of our five finalists comes forward, our home audience will see the average score she received from our judges in the semifinal competitions. Our five finalists for Miss Teen USA are Miss Hawaii. <laughs> Texas. No, oh, Miss Washington. Miss Wyoming. And Miss Missouri. There are the five finalists for the title of Miss Team USA 1985. has been building since we came on the air. When 51 became 10, we started out fresh. And now that our 10 have become 5, we discard all the previous scores. Our judges are free to choose any one of the five finalists for the new Miss Teen USA. <laughs> now you see the previous scores. Now you don't. Ahead for the new Miss Teen USA will be extensive travel on behalf of the pageant and the chance to be, to be a contestant in the Miss USA pageant to be held on May 13th in Lakeland, Florida. And in addition to travel, opportunity, and prestige, there will be, a, there will be cash rewards of more than $70,000. And that can be used for, among other things, for education. There are merchandise gifts making a grand total of more than $100,000. Let's take a look at that prize package. This year's Miss Teen... Teen USA will fly first class to any eastern destination of her choice, whether she chooses a trip to the beautiful beaches of Florida and the Caribbean or to explore the splendor of South America. She'll fly eastern, the new leader in service to all the Americas. Miss Teen USA will receive a $5,000 cash award, video products, and the new Minolta Maxim autofocus system for perfect shots every time Minolta Maxim, only from the mind. Miss Teen USA will receive the Sporty Wellcraft 170 American Bow Rider, powered by a Yamaha 90 outboard motor from the Wellcraft Marine Corporation. She will also receive a trailer from Shoreline Products. 
When Miss Teen USA has time to relax with a tropical fruit drink, she uses Tropical Blend Tanning Oil for a deep, dark tan. She will receive a $10,000 cash award plus a five-year supply of her favorite tropical blend tanning products every step of the way miss teen usa will look terrific she will receive ten thousand dollars in cash and a five-year supply of new and improved no-nonsense pantyhose no nonsense now with 16 point contouring to fit even better than before in addition to a $10,000 cash prize, the new Miss Teen USA will walk proudly with a complete bass wardrobe that captures fashion's latest trend. Bass, keeping up with the young, dynamic image of life in the fast lane. That sets the pace for all bass fashions. Following in the tradition begun by the first Miss Teen USA, Ruth Sicarian, to this year's winner goes a $5,000 cash scholarship award, a beautiful collection of jewelry, and her symbol of elegance, her crown, all from the new Sarah Coventry. For those moments that are important, like the pageant itself, our new Miss Teen Teen USA will receive, in addition to a $10,000 cash award, a five-year supply of cosmetics from Maybelline, the official cosmetics for the Miss Teen USA pageant. Our winner will receive a $5,000 cash scholarship award and a $10,000 wardrobe by Fernando Pena, all from Secret, the official antiperspirant of the Miss Teen USA pageant. Like our lovely model, Charisse Haugen, shown arriving at the fashionable Grand Bay Hotel. Tonight's winner will be able to arrive anywhere in style wearing this natural black llama ranch mink coat. It's from the internationally famous Flemington Fur Company. Wherever she decides to go, the new Miss Teen USA will be able to stay ahead of the field when she arrives in one of America's most popular sports cars, her fully equipped 1985 Mazda RX-7 GSL. All these gifts for the new Miss Miss Teen USA. In 1985, the Miss Teen and Miss Universe pageants take place in Miami. And the Miss USA pageant will be held in Lakeland in May. Now, for their cooperation in making these events realities, we would like to express our appreciation to some very distinguished Floridians who are in our audience tonight. First, two gentlemen who share a common title. Maurice A. Ferre, mayor of the city of Miami, and Malcolm H. Fromberg, Mayor of Miami Beach. From the Greater Miami Host Committee, its Honorary Chairman, Vice Mayor Joe Carroyo, and its President, Monty Trainer. And from Lakeland, Mayor Tom Shaw, and the President of the Lakeland Chamber of Commerce, Gene Engel. The pageant certainly appreciates the help of those gentlemen and their staffs. We're getting closer and closer to the selection of the winner. Can I go back in the dressing room now? Oh, okay, great. All right, we'll be back after this word from Secret, the official antiperspirant of the 1985 Miss Teen USA pageant. I'm about to ask each of our five finalists a question. The same question. Until they are called upon, the other finalists will wait in our soundproof booth where they will be able to see but not hear what's happening. The judges will no longer be giving each contestant a score, but rather they'll be deciding which of our five finalists will be their choice for the new Miss Teen USA and which will get their votes for the fourth, third, second, first runners up. To assist us in this part of our program, we are joined by May Shanley, Miss USA, and Yvonne Redding, Miss Universe. Ladies, would you care to step in the group? Kelly, I'm going to talk to you first, okay? I had a question here Some Here it is. The heat is on. <laughs> As the third Miss Teen USA, you could serve as a role model for many young girls in this country. If you spoke to a group of them, what would you want to tell them? Well, first of all, I tell them that beauty comes from inside. You know, there's a lot of pretty girls here, and they're 
are a lot of people who are really beautiful inside and that's what really makes beauty not just a pretty face or a nice figure it's what you are thank you Kelly <laughs> Miss Hawaii hello Kone hello as the third Miss Teen USA you could serve as a role model for many young girls in this country if you spoke to a group of them what would you want to tell them I would like to tell them first to be flexible and that it means to bring out the best of everybody because everybody's wonderful and if you look hard enough you can find the best in them and I would also like to tell them to be positive because if you're positive you can do everything in the world with that kind of an attitude and also I'd like to say keep it up if you keep trying and you, and you just get up and keep going and going you can achieve your dreams thank you Kone Miss Washington, as the third Miss Teen USA, you could serve as a role model for many young girls in this country. If you spoke to a group of them, what would you want to tell them? I would tell them to set their goals high and to try to achieve them and to go for whatever they want because everything is obtainable if you go for it. Anything that you can want to do or want to try to do is obtainable and to just set your goals high. Thank you, Miss Washington. Miss Wyoming, as the third Miss Teen USA, you could serve as a role model for many young girls in this country. If you spoke to a group of girls, what would you want to tell them? I would tell them to always be sure of themselves, no matter how hard it seemed, to always smile and to always be happy with themselves. If you're happy with yourself, you can be happy with the rest of the world, and that's what it's really all about. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> Miss Missouri, Rhonda, as the third Miss Teen USA, you could serve as a role model for many young girls in this country. If you spoke to a group of them, what would you want to tell them? I would tell them that no matter where they go or what they do, to always be themselves. Because each person is unique, and each person has an individual personality, and that is what makes each one of us so special. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Missouri. Thank you all, ladies. Our judges are going to be given close-up views of our contestants as their final votes are put into our computer. They will have monitors.